All right. Okay, good. So, day three. <laughs> um, what's on the agenda? Um, I want to discuss uh, five things today. So mm -hmm. we had uh, the issues of the last training with the drawing units. Mm -hmm. Drawing and, unit, all right. Yeah, so that read that definition that, that went a bit wrong. And also mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, non-orthogonal um, intersection. Mm -hmm. We had trouble with it. And I said, well, I will come back to, back to you with it by the the next training, which is next today. <laughs> um, but to be very honest, I have a very busy week. Uh, okay, it's okay. And, and I, uh, yeah, had not really the time to prepare it too well. So I, I did look into it, but not too well. And uh, I, yeah, if I, if I want to help you, I want to help you properly. Um, so yeah. therefore, I think it's better to do it at day five, and then I have a bit more time to look into it, and then I can help you good. Okay. Yeah, and, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and then the same goes for uh, uh, Bethel and Weld information, uh, Bethel information mm -hmm. and welding compensation. Um, so it's it's additional to your license, and it's mm -hmm. not per se needed to do it today. So I also postponed it to day five. Day five. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Okay, good, nice. Then um, today we're going to look at making of stiffeners and faceplates, uh, but you already did, <laughs> so that's very nice. Um, then we're going to look at uh, production information, but only if if it's desired. Uh, I think it is, but you know, since okay, so we have uh, two suites. So it's we have the modeling license, which you have, and we have the production license. Mm -hmm. uh, which you don't have. Um, Production and, license. Yes. I only have a modeling license, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in the modeling license, it, it is uh, possible to add production information, uh, mm -hmm. but you cannot do anything with it later on uh, mm -hmm. since, since you have the modeling license. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, this production information is something like uh, uh bom right bill of material uh, that, uh, that, some... yeah you can get that from the reports uh-huh uh -huh. and the reports okay. we will discuss that at uh, monday so at day four okay okay uh, but that's that's not per se in the production so the difference between modeling and production is that in oh. the production license uh, okay. you can also make uh plate expansions mm -hmm. Oh, and, uh, right. that you can make uh, NC drawings, mm -hmm. uh, so nesting files and uh, mm -hmm. NC cutting. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that is the production information. Uh, no, 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 no. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Production information is more like uh, uh, marking lines, production units, uh, uh, logistic uh, information. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. And. Um, what else is in the production license? Yeah, in the production license, you get also uh, more information in your reports than in the modeling license. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. But I think it's good to cover it today, and it, it's still useful to you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah, sure it's yeah, still yeah. useful. And Especially then, when when yeah. we do have a uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Um, and then finally, we are going to uh, make construction drawings today. And um, yeah, so that, that's it. So uh, first of all, uh, yeah, the issues of the last training, I already said it. The drawing mm -hmm. unit and the assembly, we're going mm -hmm. to do this. Oh, this Friday, yeah, Friday 22nd, so that's day five. Um, okay, so stiffeners and face plates. Well, you already know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. These are mm -hmm. uh, stiffeners, and okay. um, this, this is a drawing that I made uh, yesterday in the in the training model that we use as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's in fact it's a bit of the same as mastership parts. So it's it's a block here. It's highlighted, mm -hmm. and that block of lines that is the one that contains the data. 
so the length and the the end details and, and all. Oh. Uh, and again, we have the solid as a representation. So the solid okay. is you can, you can delete the solid, and then you still have the data. So that's that's yeah, similar to to plate parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in uh, stiffeners, we also have Tom. Uh, so template oriented modeling. And uh, with that, I mean that you, that we have a library of all the different stiffener types. Mm -hmm. I think you've already seen it. So you have the flat bars and the build profiles and pipes and I don't know what else. Um, and then we have also a library of end details and materials. And uh, with Tom, you can also copy your stiffeners. Mm -hmm. Um, and if, in fact, the stiffeners is is uh, easier than parts. So the yeah. parts, which yeah. we did uh, Wednesday, is or no? Which which day is it today? It's Friday. So <laughs> at Wednesday yeah, we did uh, the 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 parts. The part. uh, and and but this is this is easier. Mm -hmm. And in fact, then we have uh, also face plates and uh, face plates are yeah also stiffeners. Uh, it's, yeah, the face plate is in fact the same as a stiffener. Okay. Um, so and then what? Yeah. If, so production information. Um, what is it? Well, it looks something like this. So it's the same image, but then with production information on it. Um, so what you see here, what I added is uh, marking lines. So yeah, maybe mm -hmm. it's hard to see, but I marked the position of the stiffeners, mm -hmm. and I also applied a grid of of water lines here. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, there's mu much more that you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so it's it's uh, yeah, marking lines and text. It's a marking of a grid, but it's also uh, adding uh, logistic information. So you can uh, assign each part. You can assign it a production unit. So you can say, OK, this uh, plate here uh, belongs to the, the, the bulkhead or the four peak. And those mm -hmm. stiffers uh, belong also, yeah, maybe also to the four peak, I don't know. And mm -hmm. then you can give it also uh, treatments. So you can mm -hmm. maybe say, um, uh, this uh, part uh, needs to be yeah, yeah, baffled, for example. The module that you have, you can say this part needs to be baffled. Uh, or you say this stiffener needs to be needs to be bent or maybe painted. So that's also a bit of logistic information that you can give to it. It's not too hard uh, to apply. It's quite easy to do, in fact. And um, uh, yeah, it's, it can be quite useful. Um, all right, but yeah, it's it's very much with the yeah, it's 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 only useful if you are actually going to produce this, <laughs> of course. So <laughs> if you are just making the three D model and uh, send that model to a client or something, then it's maybe not too relevant. But if you are actually going to produce it, then this information is of course very relevant. Okay, yeah. and then finally, we are going to look at construction drawings. So I have one example here. This is a, a frame of a recent project that we did. Um, this is from, uh, I think it was from a yacht. And then, yeah, a typical construction drawing looks something like this. So you see here all the, 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 the part IDs. And then you see here some dimensions, easy. Um, and then you see the, the the standard template that we have. So this center line and this baseline. <laughs> it's really it's not nothing special. It's uh, in fact a very big part is just based on AutoCAD, uh, and Mastchip just makes it a bit easier to make these drawings. So in fact, I think that you can tell me more about making construction drawings than I can tell you. <laughs> So I will show you how to do it with MasterShip, so the, the shortcuts to make it easy. But probably making the construction drawing itself, it's, yeah, I, I don't think I have to explain you anything on that. <laughs> Since you, you already make all your construction drawings in AutoCAD, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Manually, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. So, uh, so this is this is just one example. Uh, we are going for a simplified one. So ours will look something like this. So we are just will just proceed with the one that we have. So you can't see the colors here really. So you can also make it uh, black and white. You will see it better. Uh, so what we have is we have a tool to import this frame in an easy way. And we have those standard templates. That's that that's in fact uh, what we offer. Uh, let's see what is else here. Yeah, what is it? It's a reference on paper layout. So it's in fact, yeah, you will see. Yeah, you will see how it works. So it's you, we have those assembly drawings, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you click an assembly drawing, you can do open reference. Mm -hmm. And th this is in fact exactly the same. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, frame by frame, and then we have a longi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'll show you how this works. So I think we will go relatively quick through this, uh, but uh, we will see how it goes. All right, so that was it uh, for the agenda of today. So uh, you know what they say, let's get started. Let's make some stiffeners. Okay. First of all, uh i'm going to show you you do not have to follow along uh, mm -hmm. i'm going to draw a polyline and then i will make a stiffener on it i think you already know what will happen so i keep this this is fine yeah. So mm. it yeah. is now a different this, shape. Than this the is the poly polyline, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, and if we do it now with a line, strange shape. And then, okay. Then you will just get the simple stiffener. Uh, uh, so All right. That's that's the same as with parts, the body mm -hmm. lines, the normal lines. Mm -hmm. so that's good to know. And then we have uh, normal stiffeners, and we have parametric stiffeners. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? And normal stiffener is um yeah how can i say this i would say just go for a parametric stiffener this is a bit of an improved version of this one mm -hmm. so this parametric stiffener you can use it with uh reference lines so mm -hmm. for example this this is also a reference line mm -hmm. you can also use 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 those ones so the normal reference lines Mm -hmm. So that's the advantage of, of parametric stiffeners. You can copy them. Mm -hmm. And normal stiffeners, you can't. So that's just one stiffener and it's it, it will not adapt to a new shape or something. So you cannot copy it. Okay. Um, but this normal stiffener is a bit more easy to draw, but that's the mm -hmm. only difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I will say this one is old. This one is improved and this one is better. Parametric stiffener. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will show you uh, the difference. So mm -hmm. here I'm going to draw a normal line. Okay. Uh, or in fact, uh, let's just, uh, no, okay, I'm going to delete this by the way. Uh, let's make something more realistic. So let's put some stiffeners on here. And but first, let's see how long this is. Oh yeah, this is, okay. So it fits in a plate. So um, then this is six, yeah, less than six thousand. So a stiffener will fit in it. So you have okay. So if you do, for example, you make a line and you make a very long stiffener mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. 
and so it's 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 12 mm -hmm. meters mm -hmm. but you cannot you cannot buy this this does not exist yeah. <laughs> so so if you try to make this yeah then it will say well this 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 stiffener is too long i mean come on yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you sure that you want to do this uh -huh. uh, so yeah, it does not make sense to, to make a stiffener this long. So then you get this pop-up. Mm -hmm. But maybe you have different settings. Maybe you say, well, the maximum length that we buy is maybe six meter. Mm -hmm. That's also possible. Mm -hmm. So you can change that settings in the in the organizer. I'm not going to show you now how that works. It's a bit more advanced. Uh, but you can change that as well. For okay. Yourself. okay. But okay, so this is long enough, so this, or short enough. This is about uh, what was it, uh, 5.8 meters or something. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I want to make reference line or uh, stiffeners here. So the same as we saw in the PowerPoint. So uh, a bit like this. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I make again a reference line. I do offset. And then I do an offset from 500 until, uh, what is it, 9000 or something with steps of 500. Okay. Just like this. I go there. Uh, well, that, that was a bit too much, but <laughs> okay. Be better too much than too less. Um, let's hide this one. And I'm also going to hide. No, this is good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have this, and now I'm going to make this a parametric stiffer. And I say I want to do it on this curve. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make one, and then I will copy it to the okay. others. Mm -hmm. So here I say. Uh, okay, this is my baseline. Mm -hmm. And then you see one green X here mm -hmm. and one red mm -hmm. X. Mm -hmm. This means start point, end mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. My start, my stiffener is now here and we don't want that. Mm -hmm. So we say select start point as keep current bounded by curves or exit. No, we mm -hmm. don't want the current, that's strange. We do bounded by curve. Mm -hmm. And then we select. Bound by this. curve. Oh. Uh, no, in fact, okay, this okay, one. Okay. So we... And so we can check if yes or not. So now our start point is here. Mm -hmm. And oh, then we point. can do the same for the end point. Yeah, and it seems as if it's right, but if you zoom in very far, it's just oh, above the deck. Yeah. Yeah. So we select the. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. Uh, so let's do it again. Uh, mm -hmm. Parametric stiffer. Select this one. Bounded, bounding curve. Like so. This one. So that start point is there, and then mm -hmm. the end point also bounded. Select okay. that one. Okay. Uh, and then it asks me select the part to attach. So I can select, it's, oh. it's not needed per se, but I can select this part. Mm -hmm. And then um, this will be saved to the database. So you see here, now we are going to create the stiffener mm -hmm. and we get this ID of the stiffener. It's just the same as, as we, had, we have seen before. Then we can choose here the, the type of stiffener that you want. You probably which already have a, seen. Which one is angle by or L? Yeah, this is angle bar, indeed, yeah, L or angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, T, uh, flat bar, uh, build profile, yeah, mm -hmm. so you can choose a lot, so maybe do the uh, box, oh, this is box profile. Start in detail, oh, okay. And this is that the, the, the build profile, uh, etc., so you can also do pipes. T. Mm -hmm. nah, let's go for a T profile. Make it out of steel, aluminium, steel. And you can add this to your own library. You can customize this in the organizer. Okay. 
and then we take uh, I don't know this one. Okay, and then you see here uh, add part ID. Mm -hmm. So here you see frame uh, 75 two two. So that's this part that we just mm -hmm. selected, mm -hmm. and then it's attached to that part, and that information is saved in the database, and you mm -hmm. can get that out of your uh, reports later, and mm -hmm. maybe. You can, if you do it cleverly, you could also use it for your reports. Yeah, it's better. Um, and then you see here the the technical length. Mm -hmm. And the you can oh, start the gap. Okay. Yeah, oh. exactly. So I will set it to zero for now. And I don't do any end details. Just leave it like this. And I can also say create a copy on the other side, but mm -hmm. uh, it. okay. We uh, make it there. Okay, good. Awesome. Now it's generated. <coughs> uh, Shade it with edges. Uh, let's take a look at it. Mm. So uh, there we have it. Fine, good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is not very realistic, since yeah, you want to maybe have to hear the 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 end gap, yeah. or start gap. You want uh, to also yeah. yeah so after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So edit still so, yeah. If we want to edit it, then you have here this button, edit, stiffer. Or you can also type it in, shift, edit, stiff. And we select the object. So if we select this solid, nothing mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. The solid is just a representation. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. select this part data, or the okay. stiffer data. And then we can uh -huh. adjust it. So then we can say uh, make a start gap of 50 millimeters, also an end gap of 50 millimeters, and also give it an end detail. So, mm -hmm. Oh, type of end detail. Yeah, you can choose a lot of different end details here. Uh, maybe maybe do this for the start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we uh, customize this end detail? Sorry. Can we customize this in detail? Uh, not really. No. So those are the templates. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you have, yeah, and you can only specify the parameter values. Uh, all right. Yeah, so it's it's the library and that's it. But what mm -hmm. we can do is we can make um, customized development. Mm -hmm. So if say Naval Arc wants to have one very specific template. Mm -hmm. Then we can develop that for you. Uh -huh. So that's that's no problem, but that that might involve cost, but not per mm -hmm. se. So there was a client of ours here in mm -hmm. the, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, he said, "Well, I would like to have uh, also a, an, uh, another template for my end details." Mm -hmm. We said, "Well, um, that's a good idea." Mm -hmm. So then we didn't charge them money for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes if a client wants a very specific mm -hmm. uh, end detail, which none of the other clients will use, mm -hmm. and, then we maybe will charge money for it. But if it's right. in fact a good improvement to our software, then it might be free of charge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, because uh, I, I've done uh, one project with uh, UAs. Uh, I mean, the 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 what we call this one the stiffener right it's uh, it has to follow the uh the bottom how yeah so it's uh, it's uh, i mean it's no i mean no perhaps no parameter to <laughs> uh was it, Can, was it yeah. like bend or uh, it's it's not bend it, it's a uh, uh it's Let's say your vertical stiffener, right? Yeah. Uh, then it has to sit on the uh, sit on the bottom bottom yeah. stiffener, and then this bottom stiffener is follow the shape of the hull. So uh, let's say yeah. So uh, it's 
that that is not specific for angle or whatsoever. Yeah, I understand. Right. We can also right. do uh, 3D stickers. I will show you. Uh, so it, you, you can rotate it or, uh, or you can bend it in mm -hmm. uh, multiple ways. Mm -hmm. And you can also have it like, you know, torsion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's what you mean, right? Or not? Yeah. Very strange, complex shape. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can show. I can show that as well. Um, okay. So we make this stiffer. We say uh, mm -hmm. we okay. give the parameters. Forty-five. We do the end detail. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let's make simple one here. Uh, this fifty and this uh, forty-five. Okay. Good. So now we see here the end detail, mm -hmm. the start gap, and also the end gap. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's uh, straightforward. Um, and what we can do now, we can now copy this stiffer mm -hmm. using this. Copy stiffer. Yeah. Then we select the stiffer itself. Mm -hmm. And then part to it's attached to it's optional. Uh, in this case, I do it. Mm -hmm. And I select my target lines. And I only go for these. Okay. And do you know why I only select those lines and not those? No, no. Okay. I do that because this stiffener uh, was bounded by this curve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. Mm -hmm, yeah, by yeah. This, by this upper curve here of the deck. Mm -hmm. So if I would select this one, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I would select this curve as well. Mm -hmm. um, then th this this bounded, yeah. Then the, the bounded curve is gone. Okay. So that's that's not an option. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can. Maybe maybe it will be drawn. That that's possible. But mm -hmm. it will not follow this contour. Then so then we have. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then we have to uh, come up with a new boundary, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. okay. So That's I do true. those, and then they are drawn. Okay, good. And if I now say I want to make a change mm -hmm. to one of the stiffeners, so mm -hmm. uh, for example this one, and I say no, I want this to be a Holland profile. Mm -hmm. Like so, <clears throat> then oh, edit. a build profile. Yeah, okay. So now it's updated. Mm -hmm. See, it's built build profile. Mm -hmm. and I can simply copy it again mm -hmm. to the other stiffeners. Mm -hmm. Now they are updated as well. Oh. They are now old profiles. Yeah, because sometimes the 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 stiffener can be a different, yeah, different type at the in the single, uh, I mean, uh, plate, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. So you can change that as well. So you can also say, well, uh, this one is different than the rest. Mm -hmm. So and now for those last uh, stiffeners. We do the same, so we go for the parametric stiffener. Mm -hmm. Again, this baseline curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we do again bounded mm -hmm. for the start. Bounded. Right. We select this. Okay, and put uh, the endpoint also bounded by this. Mm -hmm. And part part. Uh, okay, let's leave the part out. T profile, blah blah blah. Start gap and gap. That's nice. And I put my leader here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks looks fine. Maybe a mm -hmm. bit bigger uh, start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's change that. Edit. Make this start gap 100. Okay. Now that's good enough. Mm -hmm. And now if we copy it, do those. Uh, this one is maybe a bit too small, but see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it follows this curve. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah that's easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's clear, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, easy, straightforward. So you cannot, so this is nice about parametric stiffeners. You cannot do it with normal stiffeners. You can't. So that's 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 the that's the difference. Okay. Yeah. But what you also can do is uh, I'm going to save this drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, let's save. What you also can do is, for example, take this one, take this frame. And then I make a parametric stiffener on mm -hmm. uh, on the hull. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I do my start point. I want to have this bounded by the deck. Mm -hmm. And I want okay. to have bounded by tank. Yeah, tank top. That's maybe yeah. nice to do. Uh, bounded. So let's bound it by tank yeah. top. So I saw you also did this already. Yeah, but I mess up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I do a T profile and okay, I keep this all the same. Maybe make this uh, a bit bigger for the tank top since there's an angle. Uh, okay. And then if we look, then it will give us a, um, what do you call it? The, uh, rotation. Mm -hmm. 90 degree. Yeah, I think we should do either 90 or 270, but I don't know yet. Ah, okay, so let's look at this in 3D. <laughs> something went went right, something yeah. went wrong. <laughs> so we can edit this. Uh, orientation, rotation is uh, 270. Yeah. You also see here the preview. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, it's gone now, but I don't know if you, you saw it, but there yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good. Ah, then it's go the other way. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We uh, can now also uh, copy the stiffener to this one. Mm -hmm. Let's copy it to here. Ah, no, I don't think we can. Since is this one, no, those are two curves. If this was one curve, then we could have also copied it to the other side. Uh, but I think just mirror it, right? That that's the easy way. Yeah, we can indeed just do a normal. Hey, why uh, is this highlighted? We can mirror in center line, uh, and then we select this. So not the solid, but the part. Uh -huh, in. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, indeed, now it's mirrored. So then you see here again the S, S. to it for starboard. Mm -hmm. And here's now S. OK, good. And now we can copy it to other frames. So I select those. And we are going to we are 50, 55 now. So let's copy it to frame 56, uh, to those four frames. And then we can do OK. Uh, one or more select parts need to be synchronized. Yes. So this is that synchronized mm -hmm. data, I think. Let's do that. Uh, wondering if I do. Uh, okay, so I just saved it now, just as a test to see mm -hmm. if the synchronization now happens automatically or not. I'm wondering. Okay, so we go here, we do synchronize. And then OK. So here you see the report. 
Mm -hmm. Successfully copied, that's good. Okay, save this drawing. I save this drawing. Mm. If we now go back to the assembly. Then we can mm -hmm. reload all the extracts. Oh, reload all modify. OK. Yeah. And now you see what we have. So you see our uh, stiffeners. <clears throat> and you see how it is adjusted to the tank top. Mm -hmm. And we see here yeah. our okay. yeah. So this is so in this way you can draw really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to say this 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 copy function and the mirror and all works better for stiffeners than for parts. Sometimes parts copy parts is sometimes does not always work perfect. Uh, stiffeners works a lot better. Mm, yeah, <laughs> uh, stiffener is uh, much easier uh, yeah. compared to compared to parts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and one more thing, how, how do we make it um, this uh, uh, the stiffener uh, uh, how to say uh, stiffener at the bottom, right? Uh, yeah. Same, I mean, same level with the tank top. At the tank top? Yeah. Yeah, uh, let, uh, let me show first. Uh, where's yeah. my... Uh, Let me share my screen. Yeah. OK, let's say we have a gap here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. How do we make this up? <laughs> Just now I saw your 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 stiffener uh, 90 degree with the. Yeah. Right. How do we yeah. make it something like this? Is that, is that possible? Uh, yes, it's possible. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen, this one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can do two things. Mm -hmm. Is you it can, N1 and what? N something. Yeah, so what you can do is, uh, for example, let me look. I'm trying to select not that drawing, also not that drawing. Uh, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is uh, we can draw the stiffener here. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the tween deck. Mm -hmm. So we can make our stiffener here. Like uh, so. Oh uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm making a mistake here. <laughs> okay, it's not going to like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It might crash. Okay, this might take a while, but um, so I, <laughs> I made a mistake in my selection of the lines since um, I made this deck a little bigger. You remember? Mm -hmm, I spilled mm -hmm. it a bit. In this case, it doesn't like it. <laughs> but um, so if you draw the stiffener in this direction, it will be mm -hmm. horizontal, mm -hmm. as you said. So then, then you have solved it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you say, yeah, I want to have it in another different angle. So okay, so let's okay. Uh, two cases. Fine. Uh, this this is this is the 
let's make it be more beautiful supply. Uh, something like this. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the side of your hull. So mm -hmm. this is the frame, frame here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, I want to have a stiffener like, like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so if we want to have this mm -hmm. horizontal, mm -hmm. then we can just draw it, draw it in this uh, frame, so in tween deck. So this will be a horizontal stiffener. But if you say I want to have it uh, maybe like this, perpendicular, mm -hmm. um, then you need to do something else. Then you need to do something that is called a 3D stiffener. Um, okay. And it's this 3D stiffener. Or Something else that you can do is that you make in the assembly a non-orthogonal position uh, or non-orthogonal frame uh, or longitudinal in this direction. That's also possible. Mm -hmm. so there are multiple ways of doing it. So uh, let's do this first case, horizontal. So I go just again for the parametric stiffener. I select this line. Uh, yeah, this is all good. Uh, let's do another one, uh, pipe. Okay. Uh, this is very small pipe. Big pipe. Yeah. Oh no, this with a pipe you cannot see it, of course. <laughs> uh, this pipe is not the best option. Okay, let's do a flat bar instead. Then you can really see it really good. Under. Okay, you now I have the flat bar here. Uh, let's mm -hmm. have to rotate it. Safety, no, that's not good. Rotation 90. Yeah, this is good. So, this is now horizontal. So, if I save this mm -hmm. and I go back to the assembly, it takes a while. And I'll go back to the assembly. You will see that this horizontal. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's one way to do it. Uh, and yeah, so if you want to have it perpendicular, then yeah, okay, let's let's assume we have this this bow indeed. Um, then we should go for a 3D stiffener. Mm -hmm. And the 3D stiffener is yeah, a bit more complex, so to say. <laughs> so, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, so I make a new drawing. Okay. I uh, save it. It's not really as a beginner, so to say, but I put it here in model. Uh, I call this uh, 3D stiffener example. Um, delete this, it's not needed. And okay, so I'm going to draw my uh, bow section, visibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to draw it. Okay. I'm going to delete this. So if you want to, uh, you can also do this in your shell expansion. That's mm -hmm. really easier, in fact. I'm going yeah. to 
Yeah, let's go for the shell expansion. That's that's easier. Yeah. And that's also more convenient, I think. So let's go to the shell expansion. So um, let's take. Uh, yeah, let's take this one. So this is this is a seam of a plate, but we are going to make a stiffer on this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you want to make it three D stiffer, then you need one baseline. Mm -hmm. which is in this case this one and mm -hmm. you need an offset line and oh. yeah so you need two lines for this so you do a copy mm -hmm. okay and then i say i want to copy it um, in maybe i can do Again, to copy, so I'm going to copy it in a very strange angle. Mm -hmm. And I do uh, yeah, displacement, now, uh, copy, specify base point. Yeah, my base point is, oh, no, I want to, yeah, so displacement. Okay, I'm going to copy it to um, zero in X direction. Uh, I'm going to, Modify it by 150 in Z direction mm. or in uh, minus 100 in Y and 150 in Z direction. But now, yeah, it's sort of a strange angle. See mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Also, crossing, so, the, so this is now that offset line. Mm -hmm. This is the baseline, so you see that it also crosses each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can now make a 3D stiffener here. And then it says select the baseline at the hull. Okay, that's that okay. one. And the offset line. And I will not give this. And I make a uh, Holland profile. Make a big one. Now, let's leave this for now, and then I do OK. Uh, first direction, no, this is good. And now we have this stiffener in a yeah, very old shape, in fact. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's bent in mm -hmm. two ways, but it's also torsioned. Mm -hmm, yeah. So it follows. Yeah, so it follows the, the, the top and the and the base. Mm -hmm. I see that there's something weird looking. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's due to the polyline segments. So at each segment it looks maybe a bit weird. Yeah. But as I said, this solid is just a representation, so that's not yeah, doesn't matter too much. So was was that your question? Yeah, can yeah. Th this one also one 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 of the questions. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I don't think I don't think you will use this very often. Mm -hmm. Since this is yeah. very hard to produce, this is very hard to make. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we we do have a project uh, which is uh, using a longi longitudinal uh, uh, frames. So so this is a uh, uh, quite I think quite useful for for me to uh, to do that project actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Good. So now this this stiffener is now also saved, and um, yeah, then we have it. So if you want to have this in the assembly, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, let's go to the assembly. And then I'm going to delete this. You don't need this. And that's good enough. And then we can let's see manage the X refs. 
we can put the shell expansion drawing in here as well. Oh. Let's see how it goes. Attach the WG. And then I do the, where is it? Projects, maybe. Then I select the shell expansion with the stiffener that we just made. Okay. This might take a while. I don't know what's happening at this moment. <laughs> I think I need to click somewhere. I think there's a window somewhere, but I cannot find it. Hello. What's going on? I'm stuck here. Okay, good, great. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, you can insert it, but I, I'm a bit stuck. I cannot yeah. get, get away here. No. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we have seen everything from, um, from stiffeners. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, we only haven't seen faceplates yet, so... Uh -huh. This base plate is in fact the same, so I'm going to show you, um, and then we will have a break. Yeah, okay. Go to close this hard. Then the way it is. Okay, so I think a lot of the information is gone. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh -huh. This. Not too bad, not too bad. All right. Um, okay, so face plates. For the faceplates, I'm going to open this frame. And okay, so say I want to make a faceplate in this hole. Yep. Uh. Then I go to faceplate, and the faceplate is just exactly the same as this. There's mm -hmm. no difference. Exactly the same. Attach to this part. Mm -hmm. with Curve here in the middle, but you can also select the side if you like. And then you see here the start and the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you can also specify here a bit of over length since this is in a hole. And then it's mm -hmm. pretty nice to have a bit of over length here. So then you can say uh, maybe I want to have uh, 50 of over length. So that you can actually produce it. And then you can select, yeah, you can select any stiffener, but yeah, you mm -hmm. go for flat bar since it's a flat mm -hmm. face. Uh, and then you select something, and uh, there you go. And I want my stiffener here. Uh, <laughs> I see I did not select the full circle. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. 
So we so in this case we have to select the whole circle. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to turn off this uh, solid so that maybe a bit more visible. Do it again. Uh, yeah. All right. This. And now the start and end cap are exactly on the top of each other, but mm -hmm. maybe it's nice to have an end cap of maybe 20 millimeters. Mm -hmm. And then you do OK. So if you now look at it, and, uh, okay. that's it. Mm. OK. It's just, and you also saw this, so you see here the overlay. Mm -hmm. The overlay yeah. is not in the drawing, mm -hmm. but, it, but it, it is saved in the database. So you will see it uh, if you want to know how long it has to be. Then this here, the production length, is saved in the database, but it's not shown in your drawing. Okay. Oh. Right. So this and, overlay. Yeah, what was the purpose of this overlay? Uh, well, so if you um, so if you need to produce this, mm -hmm. um, then it might be nice to have this a bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you try to bend it, mm -hmm. um, then you make it a bit longer. So say 50 millimeters longer or something. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Then you have something to hold on. So if you're mm -hmm. And then you can bend it, and then you cut off that last part. Uh, so yeah. that means that it's a kind of a margin uh, for young people to to do this. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, cosplay. Yeah. All right. Exactly. To, to this... actually make it mm -hmm. so then... for a bit of uh, work preparation, so to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's but... that's that's that. And also do it for for an edge or something or it doesn't really matter but the thing is so this faceplate mm -hmm. is the same as this as a uh, old stiffener but not as a parametric stiffener so that's something we need, still need to develop mm -hmm. faceplate to make this also parametric so then we can also copy it to other frames so at the moment that's not the case so that's good to remember all right yeah So I think we have seen it all for stiffeners. So we have parametric stiffeners, normal stiffeners, face mm -hmm. yeah, and then we have good. the 3D stiffeners. Uh, yeah. 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 Just, just okay. Just now, uh, uh, when we want to copy, we just use this uh, copy uh, button, right? Yeah. This one, you mean? Yeah. All right. All right because I. Okay. Yeah. Then you can copy to other frames. Copy to other frames. Yes. But how to copy to the, the other side? Yeah. That's that's mirror. Oh, OK, but you can also <laughs> so OK, so for for uh, parts. You have one copy or two mm -hmm. copies, so then you have copy to another frame and you mm -hmm. have mirror. But mm -hmm. uh, for stiffeners or mm -hmm. parametric stiffeners, you have this copy to another frame. You have mirror, yes. but you also have this one. Copy you, stiff now. OK, OK. And then yeah. you can have a copy in the same drawing. So that was from, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. Or from that line to, to this line. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Copy stiff now. So for stiffeners, you can do three types of copies. Mirror, copy, this is two in a frame. Mm -hmm. And this one is within the same drawing. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think it's good to have a break. Mm. And then after uh, after lunch, we can look at production information or after the, the break, we can look okay. at the production information and also at construction drawings. Okay. Good. Do you have any questions on stiffeners?
Yeah, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, one more thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, just now I tried to ask this. Um, uh, the uh, how how we end the stiffener uh, at the let's say at the tank top. How to end it? Yeah. Uh, ah, so like give it an angle. Yeah, give it an angle. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so that that's maybe what you meant. <laughs> or not? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Uh, uh, really? Oh, I'm so sorry, Andrew. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, what you can do. And then I told you a lot what you do not want to know. <laughs> It's so, okay. So you need uh, to end it here. Well. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We do edit. We edit the stiffener. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we don't give it an end gap. Mm -hmm. We do zero. And then we select an end detail mm -hmm. with this angle. Mm -hmm. Over no, not with that angle, with the, yeah, this angle, if I'm not mistaken. And then we make it, um, T or something. No, that was not, that was too much. It's, it's not, it should be, uh, longer. Yeah, no, same level as the. Uh, yeah, as, exactly, yeah, exactly. Right? Um, so, okay, first, just this bit, so I make this 55. But, okay, but, yeah, so we, it needs to be extended, right? Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, so then, yeah, then, then you should make it longer. <laughs> there, there is no good solution for it. Uh, what I you see. then should do is 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 make a line uh, like this, and then uh, make a reference line out of it. But this is not really what you want. This is yeah. So and then you can bound this. Mm -hmm. uh. but, yeah. It's not really what you want. Let's see if there's a different solution. Uh, edit. Our endpoint is here. Um, in that case. What if we do minus 55? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what if we do uh, No. Yeah. What if we do? No. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a very good question. To have it actually ended at the. Yeah. That is one thing. And then if we if we want to hit, have a gap between the tank top, uh, for example, like uh, this. Uh, let me share the screen first. Mm. Okay, okay, this is our uh, frame, right? Yep. And then this one is our tank top. So let's say the gap is about 25. Uh, gap. So, sorry. How are we going to do this? Uh, no, 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 normally we have a gap 
uh, in between this uh, what the tank top and the stiffener. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of 90 degree, right? Yeah. Yeah, we make it. Yeah. 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 Um. If I'm not mistaken, I I I seen this in in your video. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's good. But, that's good. But I, I, I don't know that. <laughs> but since since we have a training here, so uh, I would like to ask how how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um. Yeah. You know the problem is. I did have that in, in that video indeed. But the problem is how to specify that, that height. Uh, ah. So what you what you can do. Um, so let's let's delete this one. But that only goes for flat bars. Is what you can do is you say um, Make a Can you share your screen? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> maybe nice to do indeed. <laughs> yeah. So what you can do for um, a stiffener, if you really want to have that, but you mm -hmm. can only do that for uh, a flat bar. Okay. Is then you can offset this line. Okay, offset. Yeah, twenty-five. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Okay, and then you can also offset like maybe 170 or something. And then you can make a bounded panel of it. Mm -hmm. And then you select the entities. Like, uh, I don't know how it is. But if you do this, then it's not a stiffener, then it's a part. So then it's this, tough. if you make this, then, then it should be cut, which is not a bad thing. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it's easier to cut a flat bar than to bend a flat bar. Uh, but, but say you have a T profile as you had in your drawing. Um, then I don't know how to do that. Uh. To really have that end or, or an end gap of 25. Mm -hmm. Since that, um, and as you saw, it, 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 if you use that end detail, then it can yeah. only become shorter. It cannot become longer. Um, I'm thinking about how to do that properly. <laughs> yes, I think I know. I think I know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, okay, I think I have a solution for you. But this first has to not crash. Why is this crash? I think my computer has a hard time today. For, first my webcam. <laughs> yeah. And now my yeah, okay. now okay now I can see you but it's yeah uh, yeah exactly it's strange yeah. right uh, I'm not sure but the line's good right the what is good I mean yeah, the line yeah true true the connection. connection is good yeah okay so let's. Close this. It's nice. Okay, what was it? Uh, model frame was fifty five. Now, okay. So, if we want this, then as I said, we have to make a line here perpendicular to uh tank top mm -hmm. and we also need to know where this will end so it will be somewhere here mm -hmm. but it okay it's not it's not yeah something really easy or something so we have to know this angle 
So say this is an angle of uh, 135. Then we can calculate this distance, but that's maybe maybe it's just easier to do something like um, make an offset here. Uh, the, the parts this line. So make an offset for this. Mm. Okay, let's say it's going to be 120 high. So we have this. And then we have to draw a line perpendicular here. So then we have to. And I think we can use perpendicular. And also intersection. Or let's do apparent intersection. Oh, this is easy. Here, this one. Yeah, here is. Okay, so intersection. And here, perpendicular. Now, everything will be fine. So, uh, I make this now a reference line. And I use existing. Mm -hmm. I convert it. Let's delete this. And now I know where I should bound it. So I can do the parametric stiffener. This baseline. Mm -hmm. And then the start point is uh, bounded by this deck. Mm -hmm. And then I have my endpoint also bounded by this one. Good. Him. So, and now it's this long. Uh -huh. We said we would make it 120. This is, this, uh, oh, maybe this is nicer. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I thought we did 120, didn't we? Oh. Let's uh, move this first. So, okay. Uh, okay, let's delete this. No end gap. This is all no. Dimensions 120 steel. Maybe the orientation. Oh yes, that's probably the case. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, <laughs> very good, thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, like this. Uh, oh, and by the way, you can also, uh, okay, let's, what you also can do. So the bulb is now facing in this direction. Forward, oh. yeah. Yeah. So you can also do mirror. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. now uh, it's yeah, but, yeah. Okay, but uh okay, so we have this now. And now we can make the end detail. Um, well forty five, something like that. There you go. Almost. So, mm. but yeah, yeah, you have to measure that angle. But I think you understand what I mean. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's 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 try to do it. Good. What is that? Pray to God. Oh yeah. yeah. Almost. Oh, good yeah. enough. Good enough. Yeah. But this this is then how to do it. So you make first this offset line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perpendicular to it, and then you can bind it. Yeah, all right. Not the most easy. Not the most easy, but this. Yeah, I would say this is the most easy way to do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then if you want to give it a st start gap, so 
mm -hmm. which it says, is then you can do the end gap of 25. Yeah, yeah, now better. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. Um, okay, time for a break. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time for a break. Okay, okay. <laughs>